Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll talk about how to create color LUT lenses. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tanishka and I've been an AR creator for over two, two and a half years. During that span of time, I've created several color LUT lenses and I want to share that process with you. For creating a color LUT lens, there are three basic steps. The first one, creating the look. The second one, transferring that look onto the reference image and third step is to take that reference image and turn it into a lens before i show you how i create looks for my lenses let me talk about how you can create looks for your lenses there are several tools you can use for this any software that allows you to manipulate colors you can use to create looks i use davinci resolve and the color grading tools within it to create looks People use Photoshop and Lightroom. It doesn't matter what tool you're using as long as you're able to create a look. Now we are in DaVinci Resolve, which I use to create looks. And there are some reference clips that I will be using to create these looks. There are some things that you need to keep in mind when developing a look for a lot. So the rule of thumb when developing a look is less is more. Try to make as minimal changes as possible or else you'll end up breaking the final result and that also means that you can't use uh, masking or vignetting or any of the effects um, while you're developing the look if you do anything more than that you will get a lot out of it but the final result might not match what you are developing here so there i've developed a quick look for this it is obviously not the whole process i usually go through but this is just to show you an example so now that you have a look in place what you're going to do is test it on different kinds of reference clips. Now, for example, if you go into clips and go to the next clip, here we have a city, we have some cars, we have a dog. Why? Because people like to take pictures of sceneries, cars and pets. That is something you need to keep in mind when you're developing a look. So what I'm going to do is copy that look and paste it across different clips to see how they look. Just a quick deactivate and activate to show you the difference now that we are done developing the look and we are done testing it on different reference clips now it is time to turn it into a LUT because we need to apply it to our reference image that is this, this is the reference LUT base that snap provides i will attach this in the description so you can download it so basically whatever adjustments you have made you have to copy them and apply them to this reference base because it is a hassle to do it within davinci what I do is I export it as a LUT and here we have our test LUT and what I'm going to do is open GIMP and I will bring the base effect into GIMP here we have it 100% go into filters if you're using GIMP and you're going through the same process get this plugin called GMICQT and once you've installed it you open it you go into colors apply external C LUT go into browse and bring in your LUT open there you have it it'll show you a quick preview hit apply there we have our LUT applied with the color adjustments now I'll go and export it now we're done with the first two steps that is creating the look and applying that look to our base reference image so now let's go into lens studio and turn that into a lens okay, so now we are in lens studio first of all what I'm going to do is going to post effect and add smoothing but i feel like it does a little too much smoothing so what i do is go into the material and bring it down to about 50 percent you can change it according to your preference but i feel like 50 percent uh, about does the job uh, for the look the next thing i'm going to do is going to post effects and add color correction this is for our lot this is where we'll be applying it so now we'll import our test look open it is here and while we have our color correction selected we'll drag the test look into the texture and there the look is applied so now i'll bring it down to about 80 and i'll test it on my phone to see how it looks then i'll make some changes to the smoothing and the color correction and kind of find that sweet spot on what I think personally works. If you're someone who's going for that vintage cinematic grainy look, you can import your own uh, film grain and apply on top of it. But what I do is I add another post effect that is post effect analog 
TV. It adds a whole bunch of things, but I don't need all that. I just need the grain part. So what I do is go into the material, bring down aberration, bring down distortion, and that gives us a pretty good look. But if you look closely, you will see some horizontal lines on the screen. Those are the scan lines, but I don't like those lines. I just need the fill grain. So what we need to do is change the texture. So what I'm going to do is import a new texture. Go here. I'll attach this also in the description so you can download it. I'll import it. We have it here. Going to <clears throat> I go into analog TV and drag this into the scan lines texture. And as soon as I do it, you can see the obvious change in the way it looks. I will go into the scan line texture. This was a texture it had and I've changed it to this. You can bring in different kinds of normal maps and experiment with how they look and kind of play around uh, with the material. And once that is done, I publish the effect. So yeah, that is the basic process of creating a color alert lens. And because this is the first video after new year, I will put a link in description where you can get a ton of LUT that I've created uh, that you can play around with and create your own look so yeah that is a video on how to create custom color lut lenses that is it for now i'll see you in the next one